Today's Textile Daily is brought to you by Audible. Welcome to Textile Daily. I'm Veronica Belmont. We've all received spam messages from friends or family members when their email accounts were compromised. But what are you supposed to do in that situation? You don't want to mark the account as spam because it usually isn't. Adam Pash, the former editor in chief of Lifehacker, discovered this great feature of Gmail that is designed for just this situation. Now, when you get a suspicious email from someone in your contact list, it's actually okay to mark the email as spam. A Gmail will recognize that this isn't a normal circumstance and will ask you, what's up? So let's hit that report spam button. You can then mark the message as being suspicious, but your friend's email will not be penalized. Google recommends telling your contact that their account might have been compromised, uh, but over, you know, non-email methods, of course. There you have it. Google has thought of pretty much everything. And thanks to Lifehacker for the tip. And if you have any tips or tricks to share with the TZ audience, just email us, texilla at revision3.com. We promise not to mark them as spam. And don't forget texilla.com. It's the place to find more tips, tricks, product reviews, and how-tos. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. They have over 100,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your smartphone or MP3 player. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today.